So in this rabbit hole called game boxes, it's absolutely one big disaster. If you're new to the channel or new to this product or both, consider subscribing and hit the little bell because there is a lot of stuff I need to tell you. First of all, this is the Super Arcade Box. This is just a box with some old school software on it. So it has the possibilities to play all the way up without any problems to PlayStation 1. Depending where you're finding it, because there are different ways to find it, some of them are releasing them in a very nice case and have the possibilities to play all the way up to PlayStation 1. Atomus Wave is one of those systems that do struggle. But nevertheless, what I'm actually going to get is not to forget the very cheap arcade box game box system and the cheap controllers. That is an absolutely serious problem because these things are absolutely chemical. But having a lot of great old school classic games that will still run, but and also there are a couple of games on N64 that will struggle too. Nevertheless, what you are going to find on the inside is absolutely laughable. It's a very old Android box. That is also the reason why they're using Emily Alec 3.9. Nevertheless, in the inside, we didn't find a lot of beefy specifications because actually this is just old school stuff they're reusing. But how about the specifications? It comes with an AIMLogic S905, where the newer models already having the S905 A4. Quad core, Aeroman Gore-Tex A53, Mali 450, uh, runs on 750 MHz, 8GB of storage for the Android box itself that we're not going to use, and 64GB SD card. Some, they will even sell the 256GB SD cards and 1GB of RAM. But how will the result? Yeah, what are the results when it comes to games? Very simple, all the way up to PlayStation 1, we can play a lot of games without any hassle. N64 do have some problems, but when it comes to 60 bit platforms and you particularly like these old stuff, the arcade box is not bad at all. When you're looking at all of the different game boxes, this game box arcade thing is not even the best one out there. It's absolutely a rabbit hole. They have released over more than 100 different game boxes at least. And the arcade game box is one of those that was quite early in the beginning stage of these, let's say, Android boxes converted with Emu Alec. Oh, by the way, Emu Alec can just be downloaded for free if you want to make it yourself. But when you're looking at the inside, I must say that they stopped using, or at least this company stopped using these horrible cheap boxes. They were just Android boxes. Now they're getting yourself a very nice customized piece of equipment. What you're going to get is a custom box. It's just an Android box, in, I think in a new case, and with the arcade box logo on it. I don't know if they made it themselves or ripped it from someone else. That's something they do a lot nowadays. Nevertheless, what you're going to get is here an HDMI cable, then we're going to get ourselves the manual and the arcade box instruction manual does explain a lot of stuff, for example, how to set up. They did an amazing job with pictures and everything showing you how to set up new controllers. And let's see what we're going to get at the right side and here we're going to get the power supply and then the controls itself. The power supply is just a basic one, nothing really fancy. The controllers, what I find always very unfortunate, that we're going to get the controllers are really bad. And I mean in particular, they smell chemical when holding it. It's absolutely annoying. And also the rubberized joysticks are absolutely bad. I think they're just finding the cheapest controllers out there. And I find it quite unfortunate, but simply because this is just your overall experience. If your controller sucks, it's just going to be absolutely horrible. And I already mentioned the D-pad, the button, everything feels very cheap beside the chemical smell. And I can tell you I've been playing with it sometime. It's not a great thing. So you should get yourself a different controller. And overall, the game box is yeah, unfortunate has no whatsoever when it comes to the cooling element where we're having new models having cooling this thing is just a closed box it's not getting like super hot but i don't know if it's going to be a good or bad thing in the future the sd cards are non-branded and can get corrupted so also there this should improve getting at least a chinese good quality brand we do have an on and off switch the input for the power supply hdmi we have an rg45 so if you get internet set up, what you can do is basically update your software when it comes to Amialic. But yeah, it's 3.9, so that part, we can't really update it anymore, but maybe if you want to transfer some files. Underneath, we will see that we do have a cooling element on the main board, but that's the only cooling this thing will have. And it's, by the way, upside down. 
So when booted up, this is what we're going to get. Just a basic menu like with the Super Console X. So Emilic, need they take consideration? This is just a software you can basically like download yourself, add yourself the emulators and the files that you need. So you can basically build it yourself, maybe cheaper. But this is just a plug and play solution. So what you can play with this thing is like pretty damn impressive. So you can play the old school stuff like Sinclair, Atari, Commodore 64, Amstrad, CPC. Uh, but there is also so much stuff you can play. Uh, Neo Geo, Arcade. But what we're going to test out is the systems like Atomus Wave, Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation Portable. This thing has so much to offer. But take consideration that some of the boxes are having like really old and low specs. So we will, will occur some issues when it comes to emulation performance. And of course, are some of the games even playable? Alright, so first let's try N64 because this is a system that had a lot of issues with these low power devices, like with the Super Console that we've tried here on the channel. But if you just want to play it on native resolution, no fancy upscaling, this run runs just fine. But take consideration a lot of games that are more demanding will not run very well or at all. Okay, so because of the low power chip, and it's not a good combination with the PP SSPP emulator. Games like Metal Flood and two-dimensional game will run just fine with some glitching if you can live with it. But when you're going to get into the 3D, then we're going to get some issues. There's a little bit of bummer in my opinion. But yeah, this is what you're going to get with most of these cheap boxes. Like I'm all saying, for the money, you can't complain. Okay, so next up, let's try some PlayStation 1. And I can say like most of these cheap boxes will run it pretty damn good. But it's most of the time on just a native resolution. I think it's not a big of a deal. But if you want to have more upscaled, let's say, resolutions, you just need to have a powerful box. And you cannot do that with a cheap device like this. But if you can live with this, it's just okay. Okay, so next up, let's try some Atomus Wave. This is a system that has a lot of problems with some of the boxes. You can see, like, it will run just okay. Pick on generation, three dimensional games, same story like with PSP it will have more problems but for now you can see that it runs very well and when we're going to progress in the stage you will see some hiccups here and there because it's really demanding but the performance is an overall not bad when it comes to this game and this cheap box i find it quite fascinating to see what they can crank out of this cheap box Okay, so when it comes to Sega Dreamcast, uh, this is not running on the Redream emulator. And the reason I'm saying Redream, because Redream is personally like one of my favorite emulators. Because the compatibility with a lot of games is just superb. But it is not possible with this 3.9 ME Alec. Still, the performance and overall is not bad at all. You can see this game runs very well. And a lot of other games will too. But of course, we always have like hiccups, glitches, stuff like that. But when you like deep... Just going to deep dive into the game library or you're going to add yourself games to it. But is this still worth picking up? I think not really. Simply because there are so many better options out there with similar results, with similar, let's say, chipsets, but having just better controllers and not even to forget better cases that are having a better cooling. So your product will stay alive for a little bit longer because these things are getting really hot sometimes. Thank you all for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this and it would be great to see you in the next video.